hey guys it's your boy we back with more more feature white content and today we are taking a look at my first ever stage 29 mephisto clear and my new card setup that i have been running if you have been checking out the stream you might know and you would know actually that i'm at already 14 percent peers now because i was able to get my all blue on this stupid baby spidey with all kinds of resist that it actually has although uh, the 29 clear that I'm going to show you, I can do 29 with my cards with 11% peers. Uh, I think it was 11%. Yeah, I can do 29 with 11% peers depending on the run. Okay, so it's not like you have to have 14. Having 14 just helps me out. All right. Anyways, uh, taking a look at these team ups and everything. So I transcended thing uh, just because of my maker because I wanted to use maker with the mighty CDP of energy. So I transcended the thing, although it is also possible, even if you don't have thing, you can also use Taskmaster as here, uh, as a lot of people actually use that. But I think thing will be better, but my Taskmaster is running an insight and I don't have an insight on any of those characters. Maybe I should put on thing if I need it, but not, re not really at the moment because I'm able to clear 29. Maybe if I need it later on, I might just put it on it. Anyways. Taking a look at the maker and then we got this max HP buff as well. HP is very, very important and maker I would say is very, very tanky as well. Even on my Vista stage 29. Anyways, so with his own lead, he's rocking 58,000 attack, which is pretty nice physical attack. Uh, and I think the reason why I will be having a little bit issue clearing this will be I lost about 5% attack uh, physical for 4.5% or, yeah, or nearly 5%. Anyways, all the stats are maxed out. Uh, we have no Odin's blessings on maker yet. If I need it later on, we'll see about that movement speed. I a movement speed I thought would be helpful. It definitely is helpful. It charges the beat down uh, faster. All skills are level six. We'll talk about the rotation in a bit. Combat enhancement rank one doesn't matter because it's Mephisto blast. Uh, Power of angry Hulk stage twelve. And then we have a mighty CDP of energy with a six percent beat down. I don't have a brilliant CDP of energy. Maybe I'll try later on. Maybe not. I'm not sure. But this does the job. Pretty nicely. I have the mythic uniform with the, these uniform options. Uh, I only have two of them, the last one and the green goblin. I don't have any of these and I am not even thinking to purchase these of these, any of the uniform because it doesn't matter, you know, if you have that or not. I have dodge rolled on in this one in just to, just to try to evade some attacks if I can. For my cards right now, I'm rocking uh, uh, about 84. 84.4% uh, physical attack, which is kind of bad. I had about 90% before the card changes, but that's all right. I got 3% extra peers, so it actually helps out. I had to make some changes, okay, to the to the thing. Now, the rotation. Uh, maker is very easy, but can be a little bit hectic with the energy, okay. So, main rotation is, we'll charge up the beat down, okay. The beat down will charge up. Then we'll go 3, instant cancel 4, 3, 4. Here, 5th skill. Get the proc on the fifth skill, okay? And let the fifth skill like finish, okay? Then, one more thing, especially for the tier three rotation. Try to get Mephisto close to the edges, but try to have some space for you to fit on those edges, okay? You have to be facing, uh, you have to be facing Mephisto and Mephisto has to face you while your back is at the edge of the arena. Reason? When you use the fourth skill, he jumps back. He will not be able to use the tier three skill if he jumps totally far back. So to restrain that thing, okay, if I turn the AI on, see if the, uh, the this is here, okay. So he's only gonna jump here, okay. Otherwise, if I if I am at a different angle, if I'm here and my fister is there, if I use the fourth skill, he will jump. You can see far more, uh, far away from there. So. You can see, I'll, I'll, I can try, the tier 3 skill will not trigger, okay, the tier 3 did not trigger. Although, if I go here, I can go 5, 3, 4, tier 3 skill easily, I can cancel that and get the proc on the tier 3 skill, okay. This is the most important part and you might think that you can run with like instant cancel uh, 5, 3, 4 and then tier 3. I think 4 cancel tier 3 does a lot more damage than normal tier 3 skill because you have the residual damage with the beat down with the 3 dp of energy proc and everything uh, turns out very very well so i think that's better for that again we'll go three four five the normal rotation then 
suppose this is Mephisto, we got him down here, okay, and then we'll wait, charge the beat down, 534, and the 3 skill, and uh, get the damage, with the 4th skill, okay, this is where the main damage is, and this is your clear, okay, this is your win gone, okay, that, that's how you win, anyways guys, uh, enough talk, let's just dive right into the battle, and let's see how that rolls out, I have one more thing to talk about, but we'll talk about that after the run, so let's go. Alright, stage 29. Uh, these are the strikers. These are not the best strikers, but uh, I just like to bring Venom. Venom does help out because it's Mephisto, so you can die. And Venom is the savior when you die. Anyways, so the best thing is when he does not move, but he moved right now, but I don't really care about that because I think I will be able to, as long as I can have him uh, around the edges, okay? So now he's gonna come to the edges, you can see, I can use 534 tier 3 skill with the proc, as long as you have 3 seconds left on the beatdown proc, you're good, okay? In 3 seconds, you can get your whole tier 3 skill uh, in, okay? So you don't have to worry about like, okay, you wasted 2 seconds of beatdown with the 534, you did not, you did not, that's alright, it happens. Uh, you can see I have to use the tier 3 skill alone here, I don't care, here. Uh, about the tier 3 skill alone, the reason is that uh, I will be breaking the shield. Uh, I will be breaking the shield with my tier 3 skill anyways, okay? After this one, after this one. I don't even have to use the things buff or anything, although it's not even working for me anyways. I don't know why. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna go 5-3-4, go to the back of the Mephisto. 5-3-4, tier 3 skill, get the proc, a bit late proc, but we should be able to break it now. So I know that I can break it, so I don't really have to worry about that. Now it becomes very, very crucial to use that every single rotation. Uh, I'll try to use that every single rotation. Of course, you you might fail, you might not be able to do this, but that's all right. 5-3-4, tier 3 skill, we got the proc, and now see the juicy damage, 27 to 21st and a half, nearly 21st and a half. So really good damage, about seven bars. It can be possible and I have actually done about eight and a half bars on some rotations I'm not sure what exactly is the reason why you should actually do one and a half bar late one and a half bar less or more with the maker but it's, it seems to be kind of like the RNG as well of the run as well so I'm not sure why it actually happens because I was doing eight and a half bar before anyways it doesn't matter as long as we clear this all right so we have the 13th bar, he's gonna go for this phase, you can see I'm nearly half of my health at the moment, I could switch to Thing as well, uh, to try to get the third skill buff, but I said I'm not sure why, it's just not making any any noticeable difference for me. So I'll try, I try to got, get him here, I can use 534, I can cancel the tier 3 skill, oh my god, that was close, that was very close, okay, that was bad, <laughs> that was bad. That is why, you know, I could not cancel my tier 3 skill. Fortunately, the proc did not activate, okay? This is what you don't want to do, okay? This is why I said uh, having uh, having him at the edges or close to the edges is very, very useful. Like this. Okay, so that was my mistake at my part. Uh, I like to go in this phase with my tier 3 skill, but I'm not, which is definitely my mistake because I was not able to get him down. And the tier 3 skill damage was low. And I lost my 2 seconds of beatdown because of that. So, yeah. Don't be stupid. Don't do stupid mistakes like me. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Play nicely, guys. Play nicely. Anyways. 5-3-4. Uh, it's pretty easy to get uh, the procs. Well, yeah, sometimes you can be... Yeah, you can say, uh, late procs. I lost about 2 bars, 3 bars of damage. Kind of sucks, but... That's all right. This is not the best run, okay? I can do it with about 20-25 uh, seconds left. But this run is going to be very, very close for sure. It's going to be close. Like, it's gonna be comfortable, but close, okay? It's not like I'm gonna panic or something. Uh, maker... Oh my god, again! Fortunately, fortunately, the beatdown proc was not there. Why? Don't do this. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna take some hits. I'm gonna take some hits. Okay, let's, let's collect these and don't try not to get caught again. Maker has nice movement speed. So it's not like you're gonna be at disadvantage or something. I'm gonna go... 534, get the tier skill, we can get the proc, did not, and the proc is a bit late, because of that we lost about, again, two more bars, so, 
yeah this run can be way faster than what it is right now maybe about 30 seconds 25 seconds remaining uh this is very bad losing your damage and the procs on your tier 3 skill can be hectic okay can, it can lead you to maybe not even able to clear the run sometimes it can uh it can definitely hinder your timings and everything you know look at that 12 and a half bar we got to nearly six that's six and a half bar so i'm not sure why maybe mephisto gains some extra defenses i can see all those buffs on the top of the mephisto maybe he gets some extra dodge or something uh from the first phase that's why it's it does not really hit that hard as it's supposed to be but it doesn't matter as long as you can clear it okay and the good thing is i at least for now don't have to put insight on any of these characters which is very very good so you can see i did not even make full six bars of damage which kind of sucks i'm not sure what is the deal with this thing but it actually happens the the last bar remaining but i don't want to take any more chances before five and then we should be able to clear this with 15 seconds to go not a very pretty clear but really amazing all right maker. so the maker Wait, does it he does the job done but of course that was very very close although that can be faster okay i can be a lot faster on that that was without inside as well so i can easily do this now one more thing before we put an end to this video thing uh things third skill buff i uh some people told me on the stream uh last night uh on friday actually that i can this buff 60% all attack is actually possible to maker so basically every single tier 3 rotation or when you are trying to come uh, collect those puddles when mephisto in the rage mode you can switch to thing use the third skill switch back to maker and then use the 60% all attack it looks like a big buff i tried it i did not see any big difference i don't know why okay i tried switching to this thing 60% all attack and i was still doing the same amount of damage with my tier 3 rotation with the beat down charge up with the same rotation without missing proc so i'm not sure why and if you guys have any suggestions for me regarding that uh, feel free to comment down below what you think about that and it still is possible buff just like nick fury and any other other those of those character like beast fifth skill it is possible the 60 percent attack but it does not seem to make a huge difference i'm not sure why in the difference in the damage that i do to mephisto i'm not sure what is the main reason behind that but we'll see about that i'll try more if i find something more about the maker runner as well so let me know in the comment section what you think about the video let me know what you think about maker and the stage 29 maker i think is an amazing option and for people who already have mr fantastic tier 3 you don't have to invest in colopsidian colopsidian is a really good character but maker will also do this job of course if you are not able to do this maker Colopsidian will be a better option than maker i've heard from people so with that said let me know in the comment section what you think about all that and as always if you like the content i hope to see you again take care i'll see you all in the next one